Hello, Simvicta. Hello, Northern Lion. How's it going? You know, it's been a busy day, busy weekend. I definitely don't have uh, fatherhood to look forward to anytime soon, but mm. I do. Uh, I do have lots of uh, furniture to be delivered soon. So yeah, you gotta mm. you gotta assemble that yourself, or is it coming assembled, or is it coming with assemblers? <laughs> no, it's it's all built. <laughs> mm. I didn't go to IKEA or anything. This is like mm. a. I, I want to like I didn't want to go too cheap on the furniture, you yeah. know. So. It's it's high quality stuff and it's just all going to be delivered and installed and everything. That's pretty sweet. What about uh, I, I'm guessing I'm guessing the baby comes pre pre installed pre assembled. No, the opposite. It's pretty much like a blank slate. <laughs> you got to do a lot of labor, and the instructions are very unclear. <laughs> Without oh, further ado, though, <laughs> we are tied in uh, yep. in GeoGuessr uh, three we two are. one. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. I am hoping. Let, let's let's count how many how many times we get uh, we get Africa this time around. One. Toko Winglung. I'm hoping we get another twenty four point nine thousand. Uh, yeah. Run. That could yeah, be. Yeah, that good. would be. That could be. Fun. That would be. Uh, that would be one thing. I, I mean, honestly, like someone we have, I think that people actually like looked and found that. You that isn't your best. You actually yeah have that one, which is insane because I had no memory of it whatsoever. But apparently, I did put up a better score. Yeah, which is which is almost unbelievable considering that that one only left like what seventy two on the board or something like that. Yeah, I, uh, I think so it was ridiculous. like a. I think it was twenty four point nine. Yeah, I can't remember. Or high twenty four point eight. Collectively, though, that was our highest round ever. Oh yeah, I mean it was like a forty nine. Point X thousand. <laughs> yeah, it was, so, it was only near perfect for both of us. This one's very strange. I got the country down a hundred percent. Really? Yep. Easy peasy, no problem. Wait a minute. That's. Not... I saw like um, something that said Gobi, and I was like, "We're in the Gobi Desert," and yep. then I, I zoomed in. On Africa, which yep. not where the Gobi Desert is, for the record. No, so, you should you should stick with that. Since you know the country, I can think out loud a little bit. Mm -hmm. This to me seems like a you know I don't want to say tropical, but it's it's like a, a humid region um, with a lot of European influence. I mean, you could you could look at this and definitely say tropical and be like be accurate. Okay, I believe I know where I am, <laughs> but do I know where that is? Yes, you do. You think so? You should. I think I mm. was this sign, dude. Nardo's place. <laughs> You got a problem? Nardo's <laughs> place. Yeah, dude, that's the that's the place to be. The Nard Dog. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there mascot actually a dog? No, that's from uh, the office. <laughs> uh, that's why I don't know it. It's a decent show for a while. People have told me that it's good. It's just it's one of those that like I I feel like once I start watching, I'm gonna be like, man, this is not nearly as funny as people made it seem to be. I think that's that's fair to some extent. Yeah. I think it is good um for a bit. And then after that bit, it's not so good. But it's still kinda like it's a very easy watch, if that makes sense. Okay. It's just, you know, a kind of show you could casually put on and be like, I'm good. You know, you you could have like six episodes of the office pass you by in what feels like ten seconds. Right. I've seen some clips from it that seem. I guess I, I didn't really realize I was watching The Office at the time. Nice. It's kind of one of those things where it's like people are like, "Hey, like check out this funny clip." I'm like, "Oh, hey, I know Tina Fey," and then it's like, "Wait, what show is that from?" Excuse me, Tina Fey is not from The Office. Sim Victor, <laughs> um, I got you by twenty on that one. Yeah, I went to the spot where we were last time. Beyond Teal. So that was a uh, 
that was Curacao that was again. Was Curacao? It ever weird you out that like, you know, when you like there were so many signs for like Amstel. Mm-hmm. It's like you're really gonna go all the way from Europe to Curacao and be like, <laughs> oh, hold on, I can't forget my like reasonably priced <laughs> domestic lager. Like, like live a little bit. Have co- uh, have some like cachaça or something, whatever it's called. I mean, it's just like cachaça. You know, it's like that sugar liquor. I don't know what it's called. Well, it's just like you know, someone coming from Canada down to Texas and be like, "Oh man, I got to go get some of that poutine, eh?" It's like, yeah, no, it's we weird. Or if they were like, "Oh, you know," they go all the way to Texas and they're like, "Hey, do you have like you know Molson Canadian?" <laughs> you can get Molson hey. Canadian anywhere. It just has a different name. Some places it's called Budweiser. Some places it's called Heineken. You know. I mean, you come down here, you gotta you gotta eat Texan food. Oh, of course. I just had Texan food; it was real good. You had some some barbecue, I saw. Yeah, or I heard at least. Yeah, you didn't see. Oh, hopefully, you didn't see it. That's a. What do you What do you think is the most emblematic food in Texas barbecue? Brisket for sure. And brisket is like, it it's um. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to explain it. It's, brisket is not really. It's like sliced, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. it's sliced, but it comes from like the toughest part of the cow. Yeah, it's not um, like a steak. It's like like no, like lunch meat slices, it, but but high quality meat. Not, I wouldn't really say lunch meat. Think of it sort of like um, natural meatloaf is the okay. Is the texture, oh, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Then yeah, it's got the pink smoke ring around it, and then the the black crust around it. Um, do we know where we are? By dude, the way, I have no it's, clue, dude. I've been driving around for two minutes now, and I saw three guys on horses. That's on all. On horses, I've seen. yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> I just passed them. Because I mean, this—it's don't get me wrong; it's beautiful out here. Yeah, like, there's just nothing out here. And uh, you can see in the distance that it will probably remain there's, nothing. Yeah, there's still a whole lot of nothing. But uh, yeah, I, I would say brisket is the staple of Texas barbecue. I don't think anything comes close to it in terms of like the the iconic nature of the of the dish or the genre of food, I guess. Category is a genre or sure, category? Yeah. I think they're the same basically. Okay. Genre more traditionally used as a, you know, for media, but yeah. I think in terms of verbiage it makes sense. Oh boy. This, yeah, this one This one's messed up, dude. This one I mean, either is messed up. No matter where we we go, we're gonna be surprised. Yeah, like if I'm right, I'm gonna be insanely surprised. <laughs> did you see the donkeys on the side of the road? The like I wild did. donkeys. I did. Yeah. But like, where are we? Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. What the heck are these box things? Are these? There's no way these are flagpoles. What are... That's got to be for plumbing or something, right? 29 seconds left, huh? Well. Do you, do you have any clue where we I are? Have n- I have no clue. I have an uneducated guess. Because I got nothing. Like, legitimately have nothing. Dude, I, just just taking a little shot in the dark for sure. I'm going to say over here, this is probably way wrong. Like, probably way, way wrong. (laughs) I got you by four points. Thank God. We were on top. (laughs) How do we both get on top of each other there? It looked South American to me, but I will say I went back in the other direction. Uh with the last 30 seconds and I looked at the construction equipment and the signs and I was like this just feels more like not South American but I never would have put us in Lesotho no God I mean I I almost went Mongolia I'm not gonna lie dude I I think that would have been my next guess is either that or like I don't know deep in the mountains of like Romania or something because that look it was looked so wide open I was like this has got to be South like Argentina you know there was it was desolate like there was nothing There was just nothing there. Well, I made four points on you. So. You did? And, I, I mean, I was only up by 20, so. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's, that's, yeah, that's a pretty big guess. There's some improvement there. 
Because we, I, I'm, I'm jealous of the barbecue. Because we do have like two barbecue restaurants that I'm aware of. Probably three, I guess, in Vancouver that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. But everybody like that goes to them is like they're not as good as the American, like Texas barbecue. So you're right, like, right. and then you're like, well, why would I go to it in the first place? Then I feel like barbecue is one of those things you don't really want to eat if it's not good because you're like it's just oh cooked yeah. meat. <laughs> yeah, you you do not want uh, you do not want bad barbecue. It when when barbecue is bad, it's like it's real bad. Um, but luckily, we don't have that problem down here because we have good barbecue. I believe that. Yeah, I definitely believe that. <laughs> so the freaking dude, I don't know what it is, but these these like playing Geo Guesser just like gets my eyelashes going and oh. it's stuck in my eye, dude. Yeah, you were saying that last week. Yeah, I don't know. It's... And then people were like, "I am vouching for Sinvicta. He is not the only person that plucks his eyelashes out sometimes." Well, I don't pluck. I don't pluck them out. It's just that like. If they're if one is like folded over, like I'll give it like a little tug, and sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. But it's not like I'm I'm doing that with the aim of removing it from its like socket. Okay. Know? I don't. I, I, I just get weirded out when like. No, I hear you. When I when I think about like pulling on my eyelashes, which are attached to my eyelid, I'm like I don't want to think about it. I worked with a girl who was a waitress in a bar that I worked at, of course, um, and she. Uh, she used to pluck all of her eyebrow or all of her eyelashes out. Why? She used to purposely do that, and she thought it looked good. And For it what did not purpose? Look good. I do <laughs> not know. She thought it. She thought it looked good. I mean, hey, look, if you can do whatever you want to just to, to your body, if you think it, if it gives you confidence or whatever. But let me tell you something. It did not look good to me. <laughs> that's that's terrifying. Yeah, it it was. She, I don't know. She looked she looked very weird. I feel like it. it it's just like it reflects more poorly on you, not just because of the way that it might look, but because you're like, yeah, what'd you do last night? Oh, I sat at home and picked all my eyebrows or my eyelashes out. Oh, she she also didn't have any uh, uh, eyelash or not eyelashes, <laughs> but uh, eyebrows. So she she does that to uh, to draw them on. Uh, yeah, she used to draw them on with like makeup and pens and stuff. I'm like, and. I don't know about this. The brows, you know, it's not my style, but I guess I get it. The lashes is is a little insane to me, but I will also admit I don't know anything about it. Maybe maybe she's the authority. Uh, more than more than me, I can tell you that. I think I'm in for a world of hurt here, Saint Victor. I mean, I know I know where we are, but I don't know where it's. We got. There, there, there's a, a whole multitude of places we could be here. You know the country, right? I found it at, like the country at the last second. <laughs> I got like, what'd you get on it? I got like seven seconds. Uh, I got thirty three hundred. God. Until the last second, I for real thought we were in El Salvador. Ooh, I got you by uh, nine hundred. It did it's end up being being in that region for sure. The classic Brazilian region of guesses. Yep. State of Minas Tirith. Mm, I get it. <laughs> you, you think they're ever going to do a remake of the uh, Peter Jackson trilogy? Lord of the Rings? If I had to guess, I would, I would imagine that it's probably going to happen at some point. But I would think that those movies are evergreen for like at least another 20 years. They are... They, I mean, a lot went into them. Oh, it's, I mean, it's insane. <laughs> By the way, okay. I'm, I'm saying, and I think pretty much everybody would agree, I don't think they need to be remade. But I, I don't either. <laughs> I definitely think that Hollywood just kind of like, you know, goes around in cycles and is like, you know. It, it, oh, hey, kids these days don't want to watch the old Lord of the Rings movies. They're not even in 4K. So we'll uh, remake it. With Justin Bieber as Frodo and <laughs> send it out there. So I, I would be surprised if in in our natural lifetimes they did not. Surely they, they probably will. I mean I, I think so. I mean it's a long time. Technology gets better, I feel like 
it's it's inevitable for basically everything. I mean, they, there's only I think there's only a, a few. There's probably a, only a few like movies that flat out will not be able to be remade. Like under any circumstance, like I think Jurassic Park would be one of them. Jaws would be another one. Alien. Well, they don't have to remake uh, Jurassic Park as long as they keep pumping out the Jurassic World sequels. Oh, dude, they're like they're killing it. I mean, both of them are billion dollar movies. It's crazy. I thought the second one was pretty stupid. I honestly, I watched half of Jurassic World and just turned it off. Like I was flying. Not, you know what I mean. I was yeah, on a plane. I, I, know. I, I wasn't. Know. That would be irresponsible. Yeah, you would like, <laughs> be flying by yourself like without any helmet. That's insane. But I was flying, and uh, I had downloaded it because I was like, oh, it's kind of like a movie that you can just sort of watch on, uh, like keep your brain turned off while you're flying. Yeah. And you know Netflix has, like, you can download it and watch it later. So I got a bunch of movies like that and uh, watched them all. Then I was like, all right, let's do Jurassic World. Turned it off about halfway through. It was just I, too stupid for you. I was like, I think I'd rather just like I'm. It. It. To be fair, I had also um, watched like four movies already, so I was kind of just done with movies. Right. But I was also definitely like, I don't need to. I don't really like this. <laughs> <laughs> I was not having a great time with the first one. Well, the first one, I didn't mind the first one. I thought it was okay. I. I thought that. Anything was better than JP3 because that. Oh, dude! I mean, that movie was a steaming pile. It's of garbage. just. Uh. Excuse me. What? Did I see this right? What's the problem? <laughs> Can I even show this on? Oh YouTube? no! <laughs> Is it a naked person? Uh no, no. Um. Describe yeah, just, uh, it. It's a it's a, a lubricants uh, factory named uh, Analub. Okay. Spelled uh, A N A L U B. Uh, Analub. 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 Mm, I think you had it right the first time. Analub. I honestly, I think you had it right the first time. Probably Analub. It's one of those ones where I'm like, I know where we are, but I could not find Just, it. I was there and I moved <laughs> myself. Ah! I just I chickened out and went between Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, but I was in Brasilia. We were I was like right where you were. Dang it! Dang it! I even saw a sign that said Brazil, but uh, that one brought you right back. Oh baby, what's think, your score? I think you're I think you're up now. I'm at twelve four thirteen. Yeah, I'm up by about six hundred maybe. But I think we're in a part of the world where No, there's no there's not really a whole lot of wiggle room here. Ah I, I don't know. It's been a while since we've been here. I, I can't remember the score yeah. deviations, but if this were Denmark, I would be like hundred percent I got you. <laughs> But with it not being Denmark, I, I'm sure you can figure out what country it is. Um, Most likely, yes. I think, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a little bit more up in the air. Don't worry, Tomo. I will I will free you from the prison of this room. Tomo. Yeah, I know, buddy. You're looking at the door, and you're like, it's closed. <laughs> Tomo. He's okay. He's a good cat. He might meow a little. He is a good cat. He doesn't get above his station. He just, uh, he's like, I'm a cat. He's content to sleep and eat and uh, maybe play a little bit. And that's that's his life. Ruka's always trying to, like, hit the next level. He's always trying to evolve. Has Tomo ever done one of those annoying, like, love bites? Sometimes he will bite, yes, but very, very, very rarely. He gets in a mood sometimes. And if you stop petting him, he'll like smack you, and then he might mm -hmm. bite you a little bit. But <laughs> oh my god, it's because he's like, dude, the door. And I'm <laughs> like, yeah, I know, dude. But I gotta keep the door closed because Kate's streaming. Yeah, she's playing a uh, what? 
what was that not is it contact or control or whatever no nah, core what playing? like but what core is is like um oh core that's right yeah, yeah. it's like a platform for games it's not like okay. uh so it, it's almost like a mini game sort of collection of online games you know like right. a like a pogo.com or something like that right it's a little unusual but it could be a good time i saw i mean i saw that uh i saw that uh bounty up there yeah there been i mean the bounties have been have been rocking lately dude i i love when jeffrey swings his uh amazon prime money around when they're like, hey, it's like the Tony Ox Pro Skater deal that I did. Yep. They're like, hey, you know, The Boys is coming out. Do you want to show a trailer for it? And you're like, that's an easy sell. Everybody likes, well, mostly everybody likes that show. So it's, it's a good time. I have heard that it is a decent show. I would say that it is. I, I think decent is the perfect metric. When I watched season one, there were times where I was like, it's kind of uneven, but it's uneven mm. in like an entertaining way. It's not boring uneven. Even like there's times where you're like, I don't know if I would have taken it in that direction, but I, you know, you did something fun with it. Right. Apparently season two has an even better reception so far. So well, we obviously know the country. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to get any, any further. I got 48, so yeah. I think it's this one's set in. Yeah. Dang it. I should have stayed. I should have stayed. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just guess. Brazil, man. Got you about 100. Oh. Uh, I, went for, I went way further north than you did, but almost. I went too far north. but I kind of took know. the coward strat where I was like, I'm just going to go halfway. Man. I almost want to. Well, no, Mongolia would not have been that amount of points. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. No, it was, it was the Brazilian guess that sunk me. Well, Northern Lion takes the lead again. He's done how it. How does it feel to? How does it feel to be number one again? I feel like I fought for a while to get there. So, yeah, it's been a or, while. I don't know. Then I was like, wait a minute. Last week, did I go up two? Was I up one on you last week, and you evened it out? I can't remember. Uh, I don't. Remember, that was last week. It's been a long time, Tomo. It's been a long time, Tomo. Anyway, thanks for watching. It feels good to be back, and we will be back again on Wednesday and Friday. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, no matter who you're watching. You can watch us both simultaneously at ViewSync's located on our respective subreddits. Apart from that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you later.